Hey guys and girls, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the next episode of this Walking Dead series here. Uh, let's go to the next episode, Start for Help. Start off uh, with that right quick. The last episode was really short because it was just the end, end of season or episode one. So uh, yeah, this one will be regular sized. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another one for you. Oh, shit. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. What the hell is happening? Why is it like jumping and shit? Bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I'm a little tired though. It's late here. But I got the urge, man. I got the Walking Dead urge. This game really makes you feel like you're in that situation. I love that. I love it. It's so good. I'll kill this one. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try something different here. Something I haven't tried uh, in this situation. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. I want to eat some wood or something. I accidentally shit. grabbed for leaves. Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, man, that old fuck's got it out for me. Old racist asshole. Nah, oh, man. Just, uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. God and didn't damn. he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Oh, suck punch. Oh, my flux started again. God damn it. Uh, it's gonna be a little yellowish. But that's cool. Take this shot. We need anything we can get at this point. God damn it, you suck balls, bro. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Ah! 
Oh, sh Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. You gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Mm. Mm. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Uh. Please hurry. Aw, oh, shit. Lee, do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Uh. Try to cut the chain. Fuck it. Ah! Fuck it. Oh, man. Alright, P. Alright, P. Alright, we're good, man. He's gonna bleed the fuck out, man. Come on, dude. Is he? He passed out. He's gonna bleed out. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Oh man. Oh man. God damn. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Why would you not just run, dude? No! Rip Travis. Well, it's a huge dick. It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the Shit. hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. 
Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. The fuck, bro? Shut the fuck up. I don't see I'm any of you side. stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Denied, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. Bro. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Bruh. 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 God damn it. That's like nothing, dude. You call that food? That's like snacks, man. Are you kidding me? Straight up snacks, bruh. Oh, well. Let's talk to everybody. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. The kids need food, man. Oh, fuck Ben, dude. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Man, so cute. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Yeah, of course Clementine's gonna get food. Who, what are you even talking about, bruh? Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Man, yeah, fuck this little kid, dude. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. 
It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> what? Are you serious? You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Aw. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here you go. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry. It's great. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. He'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. I'm at peace. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Yo, that fat fuck is... very... Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. Yeah, On the other Larry, hand, dude. giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you. If he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. Yeah, I ain't got no food for you. I got it for the kids, man. Yeah. No, 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 I want to talk to Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I was against it last time, but then I know what this bitch is gonna do, so... Hmm. I'm gonna try. Now I got two things. Either I can give food to... Will you hold the damn oh, board man. steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Meh. Yeah, he's strong. He'll hey, survive. He's, he's you holding fine. up okay, Lee? I was fine. pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Capture can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Yeah, man, they ain't got no food, at least. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Uh, sure, I'll give it to Larry. That fat fuck. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Yeah, you know what, man? You know what? Here you go, <sighs> piece of shit. Here, Larry. 
I hope you don't think this makes us friends. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> Piece of shit. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. I can't give you any food, bro. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I don't need to give this to... To... Hell no, I ain't giving it to her. Hell no, I ain't giving it to Carly, bro. I ain't to Carly, bro. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Eh. Okay, so she didn't want the food, man. I don't want to give her the food. Uh. I'll give Kenny some food. Katya. Katya needs food. She's been working hard. She's just saving that fucking dude for nothing. Here you go. Take some food. Here. Eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Oh. I need space, Lee. Oh, okay. Okay. I see how it's going to be. I already gave that piece of shit some food. You dumbass. Here you go. You can have it then. Here. Ungrateful fuck. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, uh, sour piece of shit. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. What? She does the lottery, hey, dude. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Mm-hmm. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Ken Lee. He didn't make that it, did fucking he? Song. He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Ugh. Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's Oops. been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Please just frickin' cut his head off. Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? 
It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. For protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Suspicious. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Man. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So I should have been like, let's just stay. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Somehow, I ended up getting locked in the commissary store. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Hmm. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Um. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pumping this shit. Bandits. Who? 
Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, they and you guys were keeping it There's up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Get to the dairy where it's safe. To the dairy where it's safe. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruin. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Gotta avoid those questions, man. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you, remember. Those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Ben? Bro, you want to die? That crippling on, on your legs. Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe, but is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. I got you, mine. All right, well, that was a long episode. Compensate for the other one. Um, hell yeah. I hope I don't have to do all that shit again. Well, thanks for watching. 
gas and grills. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's always fun watching The Walking Dead. It's like just watching a good movie over and over again. But yeah, thank you again. Take care. Whoops, uh, excuse me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.